Hello, yeah, please, Christopher, back here again. As I stated before, I'm gonna uh, let's wait for it. I'm gonna reapply the finish to this firearm. Uh, when I bought it and I came home with it, the finish was coming off, so I had plan on gluing it, or actually I had plan on to sericoat it, but I haven't got around to making my oven. And since I'll be moving out my house this year, most likely this summer, most likely I will. I am gonna try to add a coat, fire on coat, then I'm gonna add a finish, and then I'm gonna engrave it, and I'm gonna transfer it. That's the plan, anyway. I got most of the finish off of it. As I stated before, it was coming off of my hand and all, and when I bought it. Now I'm in. Took me a couple of days because I was busy. I, I hand sent it first, and then I found out that it took forever on it. And I didn't hand send uh, any version of the serial number or information on it until I get a, a number standard, which is similar to this file. This, was it? Shoe rest file? Yeah. And I was going to file around it. Way it would not damage the serial numbers on it, and I was going to engrave it. I'm gonna have to, I have to figure out my signal for it first, and I come back to do another layer of polishing. If you compare it to the rest of this, to the rest of this, I'm just finally getting to this layer, and I'm going to have to remove the real side. I removed the notch on the front of it, and I'm moving the you you open site on the rear. I am using a where's it go? Crap. A Balsa two way file. No, I'm not using that. I am using a half round Balsa file for I can. This grid is like around. I say about ninety. And then once I do this whole section of the fire, I am going to increase the grip if I can get a final polish to about 120. And then I'm going to do my final polish on it around 200. That's after I get everything taken care of, and then I'm going to blue it. Which I'm, I'm charcoal blueing right now. I'm going in charcoal blue. I'm preparing my charcoal. I'm done finished with this. I would then... Work on my stock. The I end up putting wheel filler on the inside of it. The wheel sling. Because it, when I bought it, it was chunk. It had like a piece missing. After that harden, I'm going to check it for its hardness. And then I'm going to resend the whole section of the stock. Make sure there's no any flaws or any profession, imperfection in it. After I clean my real grip out in my heel and comb and after I finished doing everything I need to do I was thinking of um, doing a glue glue and screw stick or adding a or just putting back like it was but I still want to practice my bedding which means I had to free, free float the barrel to get to the tank at the rear so yeah also, the Marlin 60 firearm trigger pull is about, what was it? It was around like two, between 1.5 to 2 pounds, and I was going to increase it to 4 or 3 for myself, of course. So, that's the plan.